Hey YouTube, it's Dominique stopping by today and I'm stopping by today to do my final review on my Virgin Brazilian Body Wave hair that I purchased from AliExpress.com and the company was New Star Hair Company and I had the hair in for about three months. I had two 26 inch bundles, one 20 inch bundle, one 24 inch and one 22 inch bundle. And the first four bundles that I bought, I bought a 14, 20, 22, and 24. I got it for $187.15, I believe. And the last two 26-inch bundles, I bought for $126. The 14-inch bundle, I used that. I gave that away to my sister, as I mentioned in my last two videos of the hair itself. So, um, altogether, I had five bundles complete, and I also had a closure. Um, I would usually have, in the beginning, I put three bundles in my hair, then I went and I put uh, four bundles in my hair, and I took one of the older bundles out. So, from the last video that you saw, I had two I had uh, two 26-inch bundles, one 24 and one 22-inch bundle, and then I had the closure on the top. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments about the closure, so I want to show you guys how I did the closure. The closure was the elastic band method. And this closure, like I said, is from Heavenly Hair. And you can see this closure, I had it for a while, so it's been through hell and back. So this is what the closure looks like. Um, I just attached the elastic band to the side of the rim right here. And this elastic, this band is actually from a dome cap. I just got it off of a dome cap. I cut off the edge of a dome cap because it's elasticy, And I just attached it to the side of this. Um, and this is a silk lace closure. Like I said, you can tell because if you part the hair down, you won't see the pattern. If the closure is not bleached... Or um, if the closure is not bleached, when you part it down, you can see the parting in the back. But this is a silk-based closure. So as you can see, very sturdy, and it's good. Um, and you can see the parting in the front. It's not that bad. It's been through hell and back, so, you know, I've been wearing this a lot. But um, someone asked me a question about that. So this is how I do the elastic band method. And I just, you know, it's very tight and secure. I make sure I do it really tight so that when I put it on my head, it fits perfectly. So... This is the closure, and I've layered it off, I've cut, I've did everything to it to match the style, the design hair styles that I wanted. So, um, this is what I was using, guys, for all you guys that wanted to know. And I did get some comments, people say that I look unnatural, but, I mean, it is what it is. I liked it, and a lot of other people liked it, so, so one, one person's comment is not going to discourage me from wearing the closure. I'm going to wear it whenever I want. I mean, I love this closure. I mean, I try to apply it the best way I can. I'm not a professional, so to some people it may look unnatural, and to some people it may look natural, but to me it looked perfectly fine, so that's all that matters, is my opinion. Ha! <laughs> Just joking, guys. Okay, so I'm going to get into the hair. So the hair, it was very good. Like I said, um, I had the hair for three months. I bleached, I processed the hair, I did so much stuff to it. Um, the only problem I had with the hair was a little bit of shedding. And the shedding wasn't coming from the weft of the hair, it was shedding at the ends of the hair. Like I wouldn't get long pieces of hair, I would get like little like nubs of, nubs of hair. And I kind of think that's because of over processing kind of. Because I bleached the hair like, I bleached the hair twice I believe. And then I colored it four times, two times blonde and then two times red. Two times red, so it's like... I've overprocessed the hair, and I think like overprocessing, I bleached it way too much. So that probably was a problem because it looks like the hair was kind of like split ends. It looked like split ends. So you know how you get split ends, and the hair kind of falls off at the ends. So I'm basically under the impression that's what happened. But that's only because it's my fault. It's not the company's fault or anything like that. It's my fault for my um, neglect to the hair. But other than that, after. After I bleached the hair, dyed the hair, the hair was still good to me. It still had like a nice little natural pattern after I washed it. Um, it curls really good and straightens and blow dries perfectly. Like after I would wash my hair, I would blow dry it out and I would like run a flat iron through it. And the hair would have so much body. So it was like, like every single time I would dye the hair, do any process to the hair, the only problem I had with the hair was like a little bit of dead end shedding. And that's it. Like I said, it was not no, it wasn't like the whole hair coming out from the weft. It was just a breakage at the end. But that could have been due to my over processing, which, you know, I take the blame for that. I mean, it's not the company's fault. It has nothing to do with the company. It has to do with the care of the hair. And um, obviously, I neglected the hair when I was bleaching it. But other than that, I washed and conditioned it. It wasn't dry. To, it wasn't dry, and it didn't tangle. So that's a good thing. So out of a one, a one out of ten, I would give the hair about a nine. Other than the me me mistake that I made with the hair, but that's fine. 
Um, I get a lot of comments about uh, products that I use on the hair. I use um, just regular Garnier Fructis hair products, the fortifying conditioner and, and shampoo. Um, very simple. I use all Garnier Fructis products on my hair. I mean, they're very inexpensive. And as long as you do a really good deep conditioning with the hair and give it a nice shampoo, the hair will last you a long time. Just make sure that you take care of the hair to your best ability. I mean, I always style my hair every day. I always comb my hair out. I was you know, fix my hair every day. I don't really wear ponytails or anything like that. I like to style myself up when I leave the house. So my hair was always done and I always washed it every week and took care of the hair. But for some people that are low, that want to, you know, are very low maintenance and they don't really like to do all that extra stuff. I mean, just find a method that works for you. But for me, I would constantly be, you know, making sure that my hair was up to par and it was good. You know, it smelled good, it looked good, it was curled nice and stuff like that. That's just who I am, but still, teach is on. But if you're a very low maintenance person, find a method so that you can uh, you can make sure that you take care of the hair and that it looks good and it's not that you're not putting that much work into it because I feel like I put a lot of work into my hair because I spend a lot of money so I don't want my hair to go to waste you know what I'm saying I don't want to just buy a product for like almost I spend like almost $300 altogether on hair so it's like I want to make sure that I'm getting the best product and I'm taking care of it because the hair that I still have the hair now and I'm gonna use that hair in the summertime and the hair is still good like like I said, I've processed it about f about four times, like maybe four or six times, and like it's been, it's still good. Every time I wash it, it comes back right the way it, it like just whips right back in shape. And you can see in all my other videos what the hair looks like. And I went from blonde, I had a blonde first to red. And I even took it down one red in the last video. Because I did get a question from someone about the coloring. And the red ombre results video, the hair was a bit brighter. And then the Ben Nye powder video, the hair was a bit darker. I just took it down one color. I um, dyed it down one more color. So as you can tell, in, 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 the, in the last video that I had, the curls were so nice. And the hair was luminescent. It was very rich and shiny and glossy. So therefore, I mean... Like, it's really good hair, guys. That's, like, honestly, that's all I really can tell you guys. Like, if you guys, I mean, I've done videos, and I know a lot of other people have done videos on this hair. So, if you don't take my opinion, if I haven't sold you guys a product yet, go watch somebody else's video. And I'm pretty sure that they can sell you the product better than I can. Because, honestly, I am going to order from AliExpress.com. I'm going to order from New Style Hair Company again. Like... I really like their hair. And like I said, it's just my opinion. You guys can choose to go out and purchase the hair if you want. I mean, I'm only on here to just kind of, you know, tell you guys about my experience with the hair and so forth and so on. Um, so that's about it, guys. Um, I think I've answered all the questions that you guys wanted. If you still have any more inquiries about the hair, just leave the comments down below. And I've been trying, I'm better at commenting back. Uh, um, people so um, just bear with me if I don't get to it right away but I'm starting to you know get you guys out there I'm just message you guys out there so that's the best I can do guys um, also shout out to behind the mom too she's also new on YouTube and she rocks so check out her channel and subscribe to her channel she's a really nice lady and um, she's also new on YouTube so I feel comfortable because she shows me a lot of love and she knows how hard it is to start a YouTube channel and stuff like that. So go out and check her channel. And her name is Behind the Mom Too. She's amazing. Um, and that's about it, guys. If you um, have any questions about the hair style I'm rocking now, it's very simple. 27 piece, 99J, I believe. I'm not sure if it's coming across the light lightning right now really good. But it's um, like a red color. Um, 27 piece really nice I know it's kind of a big transition from going from long hair to short hair but I'm trying to test out some kind of looks for the summertime because I'll probably do this in the summer but I just wanted to give my hair a breather until I buy I'm purchasing some new hair and I will show you guys an initial video on the hair that's coming in next so I needed to give my hair like a little bit of a break so this was my break um I like it I hope you guys like it too um so check out my YouTube channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, thumbs up if you like the video. And also follow me on Instagram. My name is Delicious Dom Twelve. Um, thank you guys all for the support, and um, have a good day, guys. Bye.